In this session, we will discuss the agency theory of corporate governance. Agency theory. Agency theory of corporate governance. Agency theory of corporate governance. Agency theory of corporate governance. In our agency theory, uh, just like in any case of agency, here also we have two parties. First party, owners of a company, owners of a company, they are shareholders they are shareholders then second party management second party second party management the owners of a company directly or indirectly elect appoint this management in order to carry on the activities of the company we know in case of company form of organizations ownership and management here ownership and control are different here these shareholders by using their voting right directly or indirectly they appoint the management so here these owners are here these owners are principals owners act as principals of the company and then this management they are acting as agents so here we can see a principal agent relationship between this shareholders and management as owners this shareholders set the objectives of the company set the objectives set the objectives of the company objectives of company owners set the objectives of the company it is the duty of management it is the duty of management to carry on the objectives set by the management i mean it is the duty of management because by doing activities management should accomplish to attain the objectives set by the company objectives of the uh, objectives set by the owners of the company but the reality is this the persons come under the category of this management they have especially the chief executives they have their own managerial empire and their own personal stature this management personnel they have their own managerial empire they have managerial empire they work for the state they work for the state they diversify 
they they diversify the activities for their own benefit for improving the, the status for increasing the managerial number this management personnel diversify the activities of the business this diversification of activities in most of the cases different from the objectives set by the company this diversification of activities in most of the cases different from objectives set by the company so there is a conflict of interest there is a conflict of interest between the owners and management because of this the conflict of interest the agency cost arises because of this conflict of interest this agency cost arises agency cost arises then what is this agency cost what is this agency cost suppose the owners shareholders they carry on everything without appointing this management they could attain they can attain so many things but here they try to carry on their activities with the support of management they diversified the activities of the organization and actually what could this honest this principle attain if they do activities by their own that result cannot be attained by if they carry on the activities with the support of management because this management diversify the activities that difference the actual objectives of owners and actually what attained by the activities of management the difference between these two that difference we can call as agency cost then our question is how can we reduce this agency cost how can we reduce this agency cost how can we reduce this agency cost our first remedy is appointment of independent appointment of independent auditors independent auditors independent auditors if independent auditors are appointed in an organization and they critically examine the activities of management i mean the books of accounts prepared by management that reveal every mal malpractices and uh, every activities uh, activities that may be good or bad to the uh, shareholders and uh, they are get aware about the managerial activities and its diversification and they surely take steps to correct the management then second remedy appointment of independent board of directors independent board of directors independent directors independent directors independent directors we know that independent directors are those directors they have no other financial interest in the company uh, except getting sitting fees in board meeting they have no other financial interest so the decisions and the viewpoint towards the activities of a company may be fair they have no partiality appointment of independent auditors and appointment of independent directors will surely reduce this agency cost uh, that's all about our agency uh, theory that's all about our agency theory i think uh, the topic explained here is clear for all of you we will meet again in our coming sessions till then goodbye